Oh yeah, this is when the IFC turns off the lights and it's about to get sexy. IFC, at midnight it turns into the incessantly f***ing channel. Also 52 seconds of logos. The scene looks exactly like someone threw glass in her face. Way to make us feel like we're really in a wreck, movie. Movie opens up with weird imagery and ends up being a dream, but it also really happens so it's playing more like a memory and not a dream cliche. Then he climbed down that chimney, straight into the huge black pot. And that was the end of the big bad wolf. Amelia tries to calm down Samuel and get him back to sleep by reading him a story about a monster, even though he was clearly concerned about a monster in his room. Please don't! Child inventors. Nothing in my hands, nothing in my hands. Child magicians. Amelia, your son's school is on the phone. Children. Okay, it's all coming together now. It is painfully obvious why this kid looks like Alex from A Clockwork Orange. He's all read into the old ultraviolence. He won't stop until he sees the groovy draining from his three droogs, if he had any. Where'd you get this? On the shelf. Sure, it's possible that a parent wouldn't remember every book his or her kid gets. However, a giant red book with such a weird name would probably stand out. And they appear to read books every night. Should raise a few alarms when it randomly appears. You can't get rid of the Babadook. Roll credits. A rumbling sound, then... Three sharp knocks. It's no wonder the Babadook got fired from Monsters, Inc. I mean, the guy just announces his presence. And while it was effective, I think the company really got tired of this dude's ego. He wrote his own pop-up book and everything. I've got to hand it to this embodiment of pure evil. I mean, he locked himself up in a cabin for a solid month with nothing but a bottle of Jack Daniels, a typewriter, some construction paper, and a bottle of glue. And he f***ing created this pop-up book to announce his presence wherever he goes. And such beautiful binding, too. Jesus, at least the people who buried Parallax tried. Telephone number on the TV screen is clearly American, even though this movie is shot and presumably takes place in Australia. Maybe you lock the bedroom door when you decide to vibe it up. <laughs> vibe blocking. Also, the movie plays the who really entered the room while the mom is jilling off game, even though we know it's Samuel. Also, also, while Samuel stood at the foot of the bed and said mommy over and over the previous time he got scared, this time he jumps in the bed and screams because horror movies got a horror. Number 11. Who has number 11? The blue number 11 ball here magically turns to a white 69 ball here. Five billion. Anyone got five billion? Amelia is a dick to old people. Jeez, everywhere this woman looks, she sees couples making out. I guess this movie's subtext is about sexual frustration. Like the kind of sexual frustration where you don't have a partner, you can't masturbate in peace, and the last time you did it, you had a kid. Where did you get those firecrackers? You got them for me on the internet. Oh, that's the end of the internet. Agit Pie. Also, somewhere in a dark room, Al Gore sheds a tear. And tell me, why did Amelia f***ing buy him firecrackers? She's having enough issues with trying to stop him from building catapults, so she's just gonna give him easy access to other weapons? If the Bubba Duke was real, we'd see it right now, wouldn't we? He wants to scare you first, then you'll see it. Because all ghosts, demons, spirits, etc. feel the need to f*** with you for an hour before trying to kill you for the last 30 minutes. Amelia needs to brush up on her horror 101. <laughs> All right, time to send this kid to a psychologist. Or sit in the kitchen rubbing your temple. That works too. Go and play right now. Why are you letting this child, who is obviously going to ruin Ruby's birthday party, go play with all the other children? You know someone's going to end up hurt. Or he'll end up inviting the Babadook in to play with Ruby and her friends, and he'll end up being the popular one. And then your son will resent the Babadook for running with the cool crowd. I do volunteer work with some disadvantaged women, and a few of them have lost their husbands. And... This chick was specifically reminded not to bring up dead dads at the kid's birthday party. The director said, let's have your character juggle three apples. It'll make you look like thrice the asshole. Also, juggling. Also, also, who the f has a clown at a princess party. Hmm, I'm wondering how Samuel pushed Ruby backwards, but she fell face first into the lawn. I'm guessing it's because this is a continuity mistake and Samuel's an asshole. Stay here and look after the children! Claire trusts Amelia to watch the children. I'm not gonna die for a long time yet. Did he think that about my dad before he died? Check and mate, Mom. Literally. I wish we had footage of the Babadook outside, placing his book down on the welcome mat, knocking on the door, retreating into the hedges, and then getting totally frustrated when Amelia doesn't see the book on the doorstep. You ever have that annoying friend who's always asking you to read his book when you have the time and That's Mr. Babadook for you. The Babadook gives Amelia some tips and tricks on his existence, rather than just leaving her in the dark. I guess a successful demon needs to make it a challenge, or they get kicked out of the union. Amelia received the unabridged edition of Mr. Babadook this time. She's lucky. Even the most experienced collectors can't find this version. I get that maybe Amelia still doesn't believe there's a monster, but clearly something is going on here. So maybe you call the police and let them know that someone or something is f***ing with you before you burn the evidence? Also, the barber cook. Claire. Person answers the phone and somehow thinks they know who's on the other line, and of course they're totally wrong cliche. That Babadook is so polite, he's always hanging up his hat and coat wherever he goes haunting. Okay, haunting is one thing, mother but when you unleash roaches into a house, you've gone too far. More like Baba Dick, am I right? How are you? 
I'm a bit tired from the drugs Bob gave me. Sam sucks. I declare Buddy Finkers house is haunted. Don't mind me, I'm just hanging out at a neighbor's house who conveniently leaves her windows open so that I can appear in your line of sight. Also, Mrs. Roach is in no danger. She makes me tea whenever I visit. Where's the smell of skip? Koalas don't know their babies about. Is this a kangaroo version of Lassie? Like, Kanga Lassie? Why is Samuel still sleeping in Amelia's bed if the whole point of the pills was that they could each get a good night's sleep in their own beds? Oh, it's nothing to be scared of. It's just Johnny Depp. Oh, wait, maybe we should be scared. The Babadook steals from the Pennywise playbook and inserts himself into movies, media, and the arts. If you're that hungry, why don't you go and eat FDA regulations in Australia are a little on the lax side of things. Can the Babadook just f with you anywhere once you let it in? If that's the case, then why wasn't it showing up at the restaurant, or at the doctor's office, or Ruby's birthday party? This movie needs some f***ing rules. Is Babadook position sort of like being John Malkovich and being John Malkovich? Where you have to kind of practice at being the person for a bit before you can take full control? Does the Babadook also get thrown out onto the New Jersey Turnpike after a few minutes? Mom? Amelia takes her masturbation ritual way too far. GET THAT BLOODY THING OFF! Wow, despite having a Babadook inside of her, she might actually be a better mom than she was before. I guess the real secret to parenting is finding a balance between way too forgiving and psychopath possessed by Satan. Also, why hasn't Amelia destroyed that catapult yet? Or thrown it away? She barks at Samuel every time he has it near him. You have the power, woman! Nothing is coming in here tonight. NOTHING! So, does the Babadook show up and possess the person who lets it in? If that's the case, then why does it need the weapon-sized, long fingernails? Seems like it could take care of business on its own instead of possessing another person to do its dirty work. Also, how exactly does one let the Babadook in? By reading the book? Because the book was read four or five nights ago. So, has it been in here this whole time? Movie seems to have just come up with a creepy creature and a name, but no clue what the f*** to do with it or any explanation for it. One could say this movie is just a big pile of Babadook. Babadook is fooled by beginner's magic tricks. We can be together. You just need to bring me the boy. This movie went all pet cemetery of the insidious poltergeist really quick. I guess he really does get thrown out under the New Jersey Turnpike every once in a while. Wasn't he already possessing her? The Babadook's hand is actually a Casio keyboard set on haunted house sound effects. Amelia believes that a demonic creature is no match for a chair stuck under a doorknob. Ah, Krampus! <laughs> Babadook goes through the binocodon. Movie commits the cardinal sin of playing a better movie, in this case, Black Sabbath, than the movie you are currently watching. And now he would rather be watching that movie. Also, once the Babadook goes into its host, does it just want to watch old movies on a crappy television? Also, I still don't understand why the Babadook has to possess anyone. It clearly can attack and scare the shit out of you on its own. Is this just another case of ghosts just want to have fun? Okay, fine, she killed the dog. But there wasn't anything about her pulling her own teeth out in the revised edition of the Mr. Babadook book. I guess it's a little tough to recreate that in the pop-up book and all. So, the Babadook is essentially the Home Alone script, but they removed all the comedy. Well, he finally did it. Sam Gulliver's traveled his mom. Mom! I'm not leaving you! Considering she could be bleeding out and most likely has several concussions, she might be leaving you soon, though. I don't really understand what Samuel did to trigger this, but the Babadook is one f***ing weak-ass horror villain if all it took to beat him was the power of love or some shit that would make Huey Lewis proud. Also, yay! We won? I think? What is going on here? You can't get rid of the Babadook. Seriously, if it can do all this without entering another body, then why the f*** does it enter another body? Also, how did Samuel become such an expert on the damn thing? Was there a missing scene where he Ben Hanscomed himself to the local library and did some research? While the Babadook throws Samuel fruitlessly up against the wall, I'd like to know why he had to go upstairs, and why he didn't lock the door behind him. If the whole reason for this is to take the child and copycat Mr. Boogie from Sinister, then why hasn't he done it yet? What do you want?! <laughs> It would be quite fitting that the way to get rid of the Babadook is to try and get it to answer a question. Also, the Babadook assist. I think it's gonna rain. Man, our town has really gotten violent since the last time I saw it. Picture frame clearly falls off the wall in this shot and is miraculously back on the wall in the next shot. Highlander 2, the kidnapping. Ah! Roar off. Really? That's all that Baba took? Haha, <laughs> wait. What? It was able to go outside and chase Amelia down in her car, but I'm sure a locked basement door will stop it. Glad they were able to defeat it by Fino. Watch out for Mom's leg, little one. He's fine. I've had the stitches out. How did one or both of them not get sent off to either jail or some sort of hospital? I mean, the mom beat the shit out of the kid, and the kid stabbed the mom, among other things. Not to mention Amelia brutally murdered the dog. There's zero chance they explain that off with a good story about the Babadook. Okay, so you can't get rid of the Babadook, and it seems like now they're keeping him as some sort of pet. But can't the Babadook decide, f*** this, and terrorize some other vulnerable family? And the motherfucker eats worms? This guy is worse than that asshole from Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Abracadabra! Glad this movie tied up the whether or not Samuel becomes a good magician storyline. That was really eating at me. If it's in a word or it's in a look, 
You can't get rid of the Babadook. Tommy! How's the peeping? Tommy? How's the peeping? You know where you are! You in the jungle, baby! Do you wanna die? I find her interesting because she's a client and because she sleeps above her covers. Four feet above her covers. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Go and eat shit. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? If you don't take the pill, you feel worse. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Everybody my age pees their pants. It's the coolest. 